Hey guys, for famous people who play Magic the Gathering, Seth Rogen hosted in 2007 a episode of Saturday Night Live, and he referenced that he plays Magic the Gathering. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I know it's a long time ago, but people who play Magic don't really, it's difficult to quit the game as I've tried to quit four or five different times. So in the Saturday Night Live episode, he talked about uh, the script for Superbad as well as references to the Wu-Tang Clan and Knight Rider and how he used to make Magic the Gathering cards. So that's pretty awesome that someone like him plays Magic the Gathering because he kind of looks like he would play Magic the Gathering. And it's also neat. I think Wizard of the Coast can really pull from a celebrity cast as I'm doing more and more homework about who actually plays magic it's a lot of famous people um it's considerably um it's a lot of interesting names it's a lot of um people you wouldn't expect to play and i'm definitely going to make a video series later on i kind of wonder what deck he played probably maybe an unglued deck an unhinged deck something kind of fun that's why i imagine he would play something kind of fun or probably just do draft so I feel like Wizard of Coast should bring, you know, these people to the forefront. I know they've done a very good job with uh, Chris, uh, Dave Williams, as well as some other celebrities, uh, Felisa Day, uh, Will Wheaton, and to promote it as not just, you know, part of this very, it's magic right now is not geek culture, like not trending geek culture. It's kind of like this very small niche. And if they want to increase their revenue, which I'm sure they do and their stockholders want them to do, uh, they need to reach out to these celebrities, to people who have influence in other areas. Seth Rogen is hilarious and I could see him making an infomercial or you know, a comedy skit. And just that comedy skit, let's assume it goes on Saturday Night Live, that's going to bring way more people to the game than even you know having a GP would because most of Magic and its revenue is from the casual crowd. It's not from people who go to GPs. And they focus on the casual crowd. That's the way, way to do it, in my opinion. I would say 98% of revenue is generated by people who are just buying fat packs and buying boxes at Walmart or their local game store and not actually not even going to Friday Night Magic because, you know, it's on a Friday night. So anyway... Uh, very surprised to see him on this list. I'll have a few bigger names. <laughs> not that this is not a big name, but uh, a few other ones uh, later. Bye, guys.